is Kawhi Leonard, who was sent to the Raptors last week. He was reportedly not happy about Toronto being his future home, but things could be changing. A source close to Kawhi told the San Diego Union Tribune that he believes Kawhi will fall in love with Toronto and end up re-signing next summer. So fans got a glimpse of this possibility in this tweet the Raptors posted over the weekend. Kawhi's kind of smiling with the caption, welcome to the North. So all of this is great, but we still haven't heard from Kawhi himself. Dominique, do you have a problem with that? Like what, Kawhi has not actually spoke up at all? No, I don't have a problem with it. If that's his personality, that's fine. I'm, I'm happy with players showing us who they are or if showing us who they are is not showing us very much of themselves. I'm comfortable with that. Don't be someone you're not. I think a lot of people have been upset with a guy like Kevin Durant recently because it feels like he's made a bit of a heel turn. No, it seems like we are finally getting to meet the real Kevin Durant. And uh, we just come off a segment about Kobe where we all remember early in Kobe's career, it appeared that he was trying to be Michael Jordan. Late in his career, it appeared that we got to see a closer at least example of who Kobe Bryant really is I like that that's one of the few criticisms I have of LeBron James it, is it feels like he's so calculated I want to know the real LeBron James and if the real Kawhi Leonard is kind of uh, reclusive then that's that's who I want him to be kind don't come of, out and be somebody you're not kind of reclusive <laughs> I mean uh, give me a break here's the problem I mean he what? comes out and plays basketball every now and then so he's he, he comes out a little bit. Right. But Kawhi is violating the number one rule when you're in a crisis. And make mo no mistake, what he was in in San Antonio was a crisis. And any PR person who's, who's worked for two months in PR will tell you, Molly, that if you don't tell your story, uh -huh. others will tell it for you. Okay. Number one rule of PR. If you don't, you get the story out and you get it out early. He's done neither. And every time he doesn't comment, every time he doesn't talk, it's a, the, we, we're doing a debate show where the, a source close to Kawhi mm -hmm. says he might fall mm -hmm. in love with Toronto. Mm -hmm. Mace, how do we know what Kawhi thinks? Yeah. Do you even know, Molly, do you even know what Kawhi Leonard's voice sounds like? I cover the NBA <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> I don't, but I want to say when you're saying crisis, you're saying the crisis is his image, how things fell apart in San Antonio, yes. that, he, that he needs to, okay, yeah. as a record. No, I mean, ultimately, no ultimately yeah, at, we'll get into that. One at, at some point, you've got to speak for yourself. I mean, Uncle Dennis can only do so much. <laughs> He's got a $500,000 shoe deal in San Antonio. If he really wants to grow that, the one thing he's got to do is to develop himself as a personality and develop himself as a brand. He's in a world-class city. He's got a great opportunity to be the man, which is what he's always wanted. Grow your personality, grow your brand, and start speaking for yourself. Dominique, you said you wanted to get to know the real Kawhi Leonard. What is that? How do we know if he will never say well, a word? You guys, I want to just say one thing before you jump in on that, Dominique, because I kind of disagree with you on this, because I think we're all on this whole, oh, you have to have a brand, and you need to have an Instagram, and you have to do this. If that's not you, like Dominique was saying, I think authenticity is the best. And what's the point of having representation, right? They can speak for you. So some people don't want to do that. So he shouldn't if he doesn't feel comfortable. And I also feel like I respect people as well that move in silence. So they just kind of make moves, they do their thing, and their talking is done on the court. And as far as the crisis for his image, and I want you guys to weigh in on this as well, I feel like, if anything, the Spurs are the ones in crisis. They potentially botched his injury, mishandled it. He wanted a second opinion. And then, and they're making him look like he's the bad guy. That can have cost him millions and millions of dollars. Can I challenge you on something yes, you said? Yes, please, anything. You said everybody has to have a brand, and you don't think so. Everybody does have a brand, Molly. It's regard it's, yes. it's a whether or not about how you want to shape it. And Dominique, but he if has he, a brand. That's his brand. That he doesn't talk and he co and he, he comes out and it. he balls. Right. So but to Steve's point, that's why he has a five hundred thousand dollars shoe Maybe contract. Maybe that's not important to him. Like again, you haven't heard him come out with his own words and say that that's important to him. If it was more important for him to do that, then he would go that route. I'm fine with him not doing it. And maybe he wants a bigger shoe deal. I think Mike Trout comes to mind as someone who recently the commissioner of baseball kind of hinted to the fact that maybe he should be a little bit more outgoing. No, it's not your responsibility. It just seems so funny because not not too long ago it feels like people were saying they want an athlete who wasn't 
isn't so focused on off the court stuff or mm -hmm. off the field stuff. They want an athlete who is focused on only their business, like Kawhi Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard did not leave or doesn't want to leave because he wanted to be the man. He was the man. They won a championship when he was the MVP going head to head with LeBron James. He wanted to leave for other reasons. And if he wants to tell us, that's fine. If he doesn't, that's fine too. Like he doesn't owe you. He doesn't owe the fans. He doesn't owe me or Molly anything. 